this is what they're waiting for, an appearance on the balcony of Buckingham Palace, which has seen so many royal and national occasions in the past. I need a copy of the script. Where's the script? Hey, we've got 60 minutes. Give us a word. Oh, for fuck's sake! Are you blind? You're fucking useless. What the fuck is this supposed to be? There was a bank robbery, for fuck's sake. Someone was shot. All we had to do was show up. Where the hell was the reporter? Well, we could, we could edit it some more and we could put a commentary well, over it. What's the bloody wedding anyway? We'll headline with the, the fun oh, run story. Fuck the fun runs. You seem to forget our jobs are hanging by a thread here. OK, Phil, let's rehearse the gym on. What for? Read the script. It doesn't matter what's in the script. It's not going to happen. There aren't enough grips. Bill, you give us this clapped out ACTT bullshit every time. TV Come South. on. Dexter here? Take it up with personnel. I want two people to operate the gym. Cut the volcanism and do some work. Anyone touches that, I'll crucify the lot of you. Ryan? Exciting stuff, isn't it? Uh, why? A bank robbery and a shooting? You think a lot of people will watch? Well, if they're not all watching the wedding. This is no more a news station than it is a fucking circus. At least there's no union rep in a circus. Well, there should be. No, people work in a circus. No, no, we're just, just having a meeting. We're discussing the lineup. Uh, sorry, sorry, could you repeat that? Look at this. You see what we're reduced to? Contents of the show isn't my problem, it's yours. Michael. Michael! What? It, it's Howard. He wants to speak to you. Howard? Hi, oh, yes. Yes, we got it. Right? Yep. Okay. Are we all in this shit or just you? Oh, where's Brian? to broadcast the robbery on their six o'clock show. Please tell me you didn't say yes. They can't get anyone out of London. They're all covering the wedding. So it's up to us. Uh, can we use the footage we already have? Jesus, no, we can't use that. Well, why don't we rob a bank ourselves if the story is that important? We could shoot you and have Dexter give a heart-wrenching interview. Do we have enough time to find a witness? A witness? We go on air in 40 minutes. Uh, my office in ten. See what you can come up with. Don't mind us. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Are you the trainee? Okay. So what do we know? Okay. So the robbery began at ten thirty this morning. The three armed men entered the bank and fired what was reportedly a warning shot. Oh. Is reportedly in the copy. Should it? Always. Keeps us on the right side of knowing nothing. Problem solved. Do either of you know who Ben is? Does he work in the canteen? Ben is our witness. He saw it all. You're not serious. He bought the tea round this morning. We write him some lines, keep it simple, do the interview. Come on. We've been liberal with the facts before. You've been liberal with the truth. He wasn't even there. So what? We've got something to report. We've got ourselves a story. Besides, this was your idea. 
Jesus Christ! and the banks. I'm sure we can... I'm sorry, can we help you? Brian. Howard. I thought you'd been retired. I haven't seen you since, uh... January the 18th, 1972. I'm Howard. A Dexter. How did you end up here? I direct the show. I heard you were working the floor up at the uh, border. I was. But now I... I direct the show. Yeah. What are you doing out of London? <laughs> I've been down here for the weekend. When I rang Michael, he said I should come and celebrate your good fortune. <laughs> Brian! Brian! What the fuck was that all? I was gonna tell you. I didn't realize you were quite such a cunt. Look, how would I stop him? He's the head of regional broadcasting, for fuck's sake. I didn't want him breathing down our necks. Seven years ago, I've been stuck in this shithole because of that fat bastard. Look, if we fuck this up, do you seriously think anybody's going to give us a second chance? Okay, everyone, it's a three camera setup, that's all. It's simple. Right, Brian? We're going national. We should be doing something with a bit more bite. Stick to the script, all right? Why does he have idiot boots? It keeps the interview from stalling. Right. Can you hear us? Who, Beelzebub? You're all right with everything. London are going live at six. They're opening with the wedding, then when that's through... We take over, I know. Just in case, I've um, queued up the robbery footage on TK2. I thought we agreed it didn't work. It didn't. It's just as a last resort. And I mean, a last resort. Howard. Howard, how good to see Michael. you. Thanks for coming. Are they looking after you? Very well indeed, thank you. So this interviewee... Is this an exclusive? <laughs> Rumour is the BBC could only get some <laughs> dreary local policeman. Dexter's been filling me in about the show. It sounds promising. Dexter, can you get me a coffee? OK. Let's just hope we're all up to speed. OK, Phil, are we all set? At Michael. You stick to your job, I'll stick to mine. The network is going to restructure all of its regional stations. South and Southeast are going to be combined. But there's only room for one producer. Where does that leave me? I want to change the questions, make them sharper. That's fine. You need to carefully think about what your priorities are and with whom they lie. Look, um, on in two uh, minutes. Let's talk about that after the broadcast, okay? Okay, Sylvia, are you ready? Oh, just like we agreed. Phil, wait for my cue. I always do. Okay, everyone, the usual drill. You fuck it up, cover it up. National going live. Here we go. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to the Nation. How long do we go live? We'll wrap after this. Around St. Paul's in celebration of the wedding of Prince Charles. Stand by to go live in 60 seconds. Seriously. The world gets its first full glimpse of the fairy tale princess. Demure. Everybody set? Now to a small bank in rural Hampshire where... Okay, we're on in five, four, We now go live three, in the studio two, at South at Six one. for more. Hello, Sylvia. Oh, shit. Phil. Good evening, Nigel. Police are stationed outside a rural bank today where a robbery has taken place. 
reportedly Brian, is everything all right? Mm -hmm. Joining us, we have Steve Mitchell, a local resident and eyewitness to the event. Steve, thank you for joining us. If you fuck this up, you won't have a pot to piss in. I'm fine. Cue camera two. What was your initial reaction? I was very surprised, shocked even. Where were you when the robbery started? I was shopping. How close were you to the bank? She's going after skirt. Did you what? go inside? What's wrong with him? Uh, he's probably a little uh, nervous. Just down the street. Was this before or after you heard the gunshot? What did you actually see? I saw uh, three men arrive around 10.30. Was this before the gunshot? Five minutes later, after the first gunshot. First? Yes. How many shots were there? Oh, shit. One. Possibly two. Get her back on script. Dexter, did you see where the hell did you find this guy? I mean, who the fuck is he? I'm sorry. I mean, what were you thinking? Well, you just How don't think, do you? What? Excuse me. Sylvia? I mean, really, Ask him the name really of the bank. Well. Which bank was this? Why is she asking that? Cut to the robbery footage now. She's introducing it. Go to it now. Let her finish. Michael. Let her finish. Your local bank? The one you were outside this morning? Midland. Midland. Barclays? Going to bank footage. Take them off the air. Take it back to London. Uh, we're well, sorry about that. Uh, we seem to be experiencing some technical difficulties. Respected Catholic Minister Patrick O'Neill has today again spoken out against the... I'm sorry. How can you not know the name of something you were a few feet from? What's going from? on? Are we off air? GBTV. was a misunderstanding. I'm reckless. EBTV. So what do we do now? Right. How did it go? It was a corker. 